Hello everyone, my name is Trumat, your local Tilia OTP and this will be my absolute beginner's guide for everything that you need to know before you jump in your first Tilia normal game. Do not, under any conditions, if you never played her again, do not jump in ranked, you're going to troll your team, because she's not exactly a simple champion. We're going to start with abilities and we're going to talk a lot about micro gameplay, so basically how you deal damage, how you position yourself, how you do the combos and then a little bit of runes and summoner spells and items so that you get the feeling of how you should play her. I'm going to go for the simplest combinations of, of things, so I'm not going to say in this video because it's just for beginners, I'm not going to say Ludens, I'm going to say GLP so that we're going to have an easier time hitting the combo and also I'm going to stay in practice tool for this video, so for the experienced ones that watch, watch this channel, please understand that there are other people that don't really know how to play Talia and we want to teach everyone and we want to give everyone a chance to do so. Okay, so I'm not also not going to talk that much about macro, because as a beginner you should understand how to survive the lane, how to properly farm and obviously how not to die against assassins, how to do a simple combo and maybe get some fights later on. I'm going to talk a bit about how you can use your ult, but this video, because it is for beginners, it is not necessarily about macro gameplay. Okay, so, we're going to start with abilities, Talia has a passive and four other abilities. Right here, I'm also going to show you again the drill, the practice tool drills that I recommend for you to practice, for you to understand better how to use your skills. Also, I have my scuttle friend here. So basically, Talia has four simple abilities, it's not that complicated really with a small mechanic or so. Basically your passive whenever you're out of combat you can get this uh, surfboard. I expected the last skin that has a surfboard <laughs> instead of a rock here. And you get some movement speed when you're out of combat. Good for when you want to chase someone down, good when you return to lane you have to stick towards towers and the walls. As the first thing that you got know. So here is the passive text as you want to see it. Now for Q you throw five rocks like this. Basically, you press Q, it creates a circle under you, after that, the next Q will be like this, just one pallet, okay? And this will cost one mana, and so when you want to do most of your damage, you want to move outside the circle to deal more Qs, okay? So you can do that. By the way, be careful, this ability eats most of your mana. When you create five circles like that, oops, I triggered deck, you're gonna, you're gonna struggle there a bit. And I'm gonna let this guy here. So your mana can go down very fast. Anyway, this may be this is your actually main tool of kiting. So let's say you have an opponent here. He's going to always position besides minions. So your goal, besides farming with Q, uh, you're going to, is going to be to actually reach some zone in which you can actually hit this case. This is a bad example, but sometimes he will move like this, and you will have an opportunity to try to hit it like there one one pallet and so. Uh, that's one case. Another case, when you are having struggle, when you struggle farming, you can use the small Q to actually get the cannon minions. I missed it now, but you get the point. Look how I, how I actually get this. I, I cannot get that because the minion got in the way, but you get the point. For example, look how I use the small Q. This is another use case. Anyway, whenever you fight on mid, you have to keep track of these circles that Q generates, okay? So, Basically, you won't deal your maximum damage if you're on a circle like this because you're gonna do just one simple Q. Instead, you move here and do full Qs on the enemy. The best way to kill someone is when you catch them without minions or other champions around that can block the damage because you're going to be able to look, going to be able to deal full damage. Obviously, he will retreat, so you got the chase with your Q. So you got the move. Imagine he's moving top, you're moving top as well, and so you're going like this. Okay. You can also do Q flash like this. Okay. So basic press Q and flash, okay, you get the point. Anyway, that's your main ability, your bread and butter. Another ability, it's your W, which works in combination with your E. Basically, this is just a spell that CCs a bit two people, one people, three people, how many you can get, and pushes them around. But this is useless uh, unless you want to escape. This is useless if you do not combo it with your E. So basically, your E puts these rocks down, and whoever dashes through them gets some damage. If you're very fed, they get a lot more damage. But just your goal is just going to deal this combination of spells. So your main combo is simple: W into E into Q into Ignite. Generally, this is what you want to do. And your ultimate: cast once. 
to throw the wall, cast two times to ride it. So if you cast just once, you're going to throw the wall, you're not going to ride it, okay? If you cast it two times, simply, you're going to ride it, and you can jump wherever you want, just click, okay? That's, that's very simple. Okay, so we talked about all abilities, you want to max Q first in E, okay? And I want you, before your first game, to do this little thing here. You should just push like this and try your main combo, spam your main combo a bit. Try to understand how it feels, okay? First do this, and then spam Qs in between, okay? Because this will be your main bread and butter combo, your main tool that is going to kill people, okay? So you gotta understand. And try to always push both of them, because this is a good practice to understand the hitbox and to uh, practice this and hitting it. Okay, so do this a little bit. Then if you want to uh, move towards your arch nemesis, now just imagine that you're level 3 when it spawns so you don't kill it that fast. Now this guy dashes at some point, okay, so you gotta understand when he dashes, you gotta understand how he dashes to actually move and to keep your keep hitting your Q, okay, so you don't, you don't randomly miss it. How do I teleport? Teleport the course, okay. Okay, so whenever you hit your Q, this is a good practice to actually it's a good practice to actually chase champions down because sometimes he will dash and other champions dash as well and you gotta understand obviously he's going to be stronger uh, he's going to be stronger at level 3 when you're level 3 as well so you take it harder and if you move here you can also practice kiting if you want to play this champion jungle I mostly talk about mid lane now she's not that strong in mid lane currently she's strongest probably on bot with the duo that's now Tilius or Leona or Trash but it's kind of niche pick you gotta understand how you play that but mainly lots of people play her in jungle because she's basically like a cartus once she's in mid game she you can have lots of fun with her but till then she's kind of hard to play at for beginners okay so if you want to play her mid jesus what did i create here <laughs> oh my god okay so if you want to play her mid you gotta be you gotta understand how uh, how to do so and now that i talked about all the abilities we can you can also see tons of examples of lane phase mid lane gameplay of bot lane gameplay of jungle gameplay on my videos so i'm not this is not that kind of video this is just for absolute beginners but besides that we're going to talk a little about runes items and so on uh, we won't again we, don't, we won't talk about much about macro your ultimate is just your tool to roam so basically whenever you want to roam you go about here or here or somewhere where it's not worthy you put a vision over here to have the vision and then bam you move quickly towards bot lane let's say you are blue side they have a word here you're out from here if you want to reach them they are here let's say or you just come here they see you and bam you ult you trap to people that's your job and then cast your full combo whoever is here but then again for uh, in order for you to make your life easier you can play we can play with GLP. What did I create here, man? Uh, you can play with GLP, and I'm gonna stop me and minion spawn, okay? And that's really going to make your combo much more simple because GLP uh, for beginners it's an item that creates a slow for you to hit your combo. We're going to talk about that, but for absolute beginners, I recommend for you to play with these runes. These are the simpler runes, runes so Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Biscuit Delivery, Time or Tonic, and Rune Stats. Basically, choose the last rune. If it's an AD Assassin, get armor. If it's an AP, uh, get magic resist. Try not to pick that often Talia as a beginner into Assassins because you're going to have a hard time, okay, on mid lane or on other lanes on bot lane. If you have a Janna or an Ami support, don't pick Talia again. In the jungle against early champions, you're going to have a, a hard time. So think about Olaf, think about something like Elise. If they are good or Lee Sin, if they are good, you're going to struggle, especially if you're a beginner. Okay, so this is another thing. Uh, I'm not advising for face rush as a beginner rune because it's quite different and you lose a bit on the damage part. Okay, so you're going to proc electrocute every time you do that combo that we talked about. So this is how you proc electrocute. Okay. One another way to proc electrocute is going to be auto attack, Q, small or big, and auto attack, and you're gonna proc electrocute. Okay, this is two ways to proc it, but for runes, these are the best combination because these runes actually give you the much needed HP to survive on lane, okay? Biscuits and potions are actually quite useful. Now, for summoner spells, even if you're a beginner, I might recommend Ignite because you're going to feel like you're not able to kill people on lane solo, and if you feel like you're not that good enough at that, 
and if you feel like you're against an assassin maybe you can go for exhaust if you're against the Katarn or the adult maybe you can go for heal or barrier if you're against the burst champion such as I don't know again Katarina is a good example or Talon maybe and stuff like that okay so this is the summoner spell these are the runes and for items I generally start with Doran's Ring and two potions. As a beginner, this is probably your safest choice. You can also get another Doran's Ring if you feel that you're about to die often. And how do I teleport? Jesus, why do I forget so often on teleport and shift S? Okay. And for items, this is some beginner build that I might recommend, okay? So you get this, you get extra GLP. You generally try to get Sork Shoes secondary. Where is that shoes? Jesus. Okay, it's here. Okay, I'm going to talk about GLP also in a second. After that, you want to go orb. Let me just sell the biscuits, cuz. Okay. And you want to upgrade orb into Morello only and only if they do have Yumi, Vladimir, Soraka, Sona, two or three or more Conqueror Abusers, cuz it's a quite strong rune or Atrox or champions that heal often, okay? So this is a mandatory pick against those champions. And if you don't if you don't have that many Conqueror players, just think as an option, okay? But for now, we're going to stick to orb and show. I'll show you how I generally try to build. If I generally go Ludus first, but for you, Hexet should be an option. Anyway, if you feel that you're dying often, you can go straight into Stopwatch Zonia. If not, you can just get a Stopwatch into either Lyandris, where is it, or Rabadons, okay? So you sell this as well into Rabadons. This is a pretty good build because. You get also the pen, all the pen that's needed from this combination, and also the burst. Okay, this is a very scalable burst, and you also have the the GLP slow. Okay, so this is an idea, by the way. You can you can align it however you want. Generally, you have to get orb and sword shoes and a first starter item like Ludens or uh, GLP, and then a stopwatch is quite optional, but mostly necessary because they're going to jump on you as you are the squishy helpless uh, mage because your only tool is this and flash and sometimes your flash is on cooldown and you just used your w to kill someone or to try to hit someone in that case they are free to kill you the enemy assassin is free to do whatever they like because you're not going to have anything to do so to escape another useful trick whenever there is a melee champion in range is not to ride the wall but to cast it to push people, okay? So if they are, this is an angry, this is an angry Garen, okay? And he's coming at you and you do not have any ability. You can just cast it like this without, you're not going to be able to ride it because he damaged you, but he's still going to be thrown away. So that's another neat trick, okay? And so after you get Sorg Shoes, GLP Ludens, or Ludens, Orb, Lyandris, after that you can go straight to Zonia, you can go earlier to Zonia, you can go Rapidus, there are a lot of ways to round this build up to create your ideal your ideal build, okay, so that's what you gotta learn about that, you got, you got, what you gotta take. And the last thing that I want to talk about in this video is how to use GLP and why I advise to pick it, because for beginners whenever you do that, look, you're going to slow the target for some seconds and he will not really be able to escape that easily. And uh, most of the time, let's say you use GLP, okay, they are going to dash. If they dash instantly, you, then you can just walk up, the, sec the slow still works, and just do full combo. But most of the time, if they have a dash available, you should expect when you press your W for them, this is BAM, the Z dash is happening exactly right now. When, when the W drops, BAM, the Z dash. If it's an immobile champion, such as Velkos, and has no flash, you should easily expect them to get caught. Okay, so if they, do, if they have flash, they will flash out if they are good. Most of them will not really think that you're able to deal 100 to 0 damage to them. Because that's the power of Tulia, really. If you do this, you're going to 100 to 0 most champions if you are a bit decent in gold or a bit ahead. Okay? <sighs> and so, your full combo, it's pretty simple. So you want to come... Let's say there, there is... Let's do some cases. There is an immobile champion on mid lane. Let's just put it, okay? Let's just put this here. And he's pushing mid, okay? You're, you're coming. You're coming with your passive because you have movement speed, okay? So you have higher movement speed than him already. You use the GLP. You do the W into E into Q into Ignite, okay? And here you could expect a dash or a flash. And then you continue to chase him down with more Qs and you get out of the circle. This is your main job. This is your main stuff that you need to do. If he flashes out after the combo, then you can flash him down. If 
he flashes out before the combo, then your main combo was just wasted and you have 12 seconds, 15 second cooldown window in which you won't deal damage only with your Q. So you gotta think that you gotta back off after that, because they just flashed, right? And so that's incredibly important. If you are against an assassin, right, most of the time you're gonna wait for them to jump on you. So this is a Zed, okay? This is a Katarina, this is a Diana. I'm having exhaust, okay? I think I can outplay him and I'm not that behind. Normally I recommend for you not to fight him, but if you're cocky enough to try to fight in normal games, especially in rankings, it's going to be a little more difficult to beat assassins. You can do, do so by letting him dash and use his W. And after he dashes, let's say he just dashed here, okay? This is still the Z, the same Z. He dashed here and he used his Q and E. You're going to see this in low elo. You can do just this, full combo, bam. Or he dashed somewhere closer to you. Okay, good. Push him into tower. Okay, see, tower starts to deal damage to him. Or he also knew any assassin also knew. Okay, fine. Flash. Uh, GLP. You got the slow, and then you got you turn the fight on its head. If you are low HP, always recall against an assassin. Very important. So these are my micro tips to play it. Leah, these are my full what to max, what rules to get, what everything to do guide. And I really hope as a beginner you're going to enjoy this and I really advise people to pick Talia if they feel like they want a challenge but if you feel that you want to be in for an um, easy time, do not pick this champion. You, you might be in for a good time if you practice her, but if you jump, if you pick her up, you just jump into ranked, get into a talent player and get absolutely dismantled because you don't even know what her skills does and how you should play her, then you're not going to have a good time and you're just wasting everyone's time, including yours. So this is my guide for you as a beginner that you, you probably are if you watch this video. If you're not, I'm still thankful that you watch this video. And if you have any questions, please write them down. I get lots of messages from you guys and I try to answer all the time. I try to get every single question answered either here on my Discord or Reddit everywhere. Also on Talia Mains, yeah, you can see it there as well. And we're, we're going to learn together. If you really like this champion, it's simple to eventually learn it. But you got to put in the time and, and to make her useful compared to, let's say, playing Garen top. I mean, it's more simple to play Garen or Annie. Everyone knows that. But it's actually rewarding to play a harder champion or a champion that's not that strong as tier. It's actually fairly rewarding to get that triple person, three person W, which it's kind of rarely happening nowadays if you think about it. But what am I doing? Where? Where? <laughs> oh, okay, I got this guy. Anyway, anyway, don't mind me. This was the tutorial. I wanted to put just three dummies to show you how the W works. But this is the tutorial. My internet just gave up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I really hope. Okay, it's back. I, okay, it's back. So this is satisfying, right? This is the most satisfying thing you could do. Or to predict an Ezreal E. That's another satisfying thing that you can do. There are plays that you can do on other champions, but it's not that cool on Garen to just flash on top on someone QE ultimate because you can you can do that on pretty much any champion but one shotting people is another thing that's fun the last trick that i want to show you is that whenever you play to lia and you get a bit ahead your goal your main goal besides cornering objectives with your ultimate and trying to get people is to one shot someone so let's say you have a word here did someone from the enemy team lulu let's say lulu let's say a jin let's say an akhri comes here and they don't have vision here because you're also smart and put and clear this vision or put a vision word there or you know there is no vision here bam he comes here you instantly one shot it with your combo whatever however you want i generally recommend to do first w into glp if it's from vision because you kind of predict him predict his ways of going so yeah, it's very, very, very rewarding and satisfying. And after that, you just created a 4 versus 5, a 5 versus 4 in your favor. And she's not basically an assassin. And if you want a simple champion, well, you can just pick Pantheon. And basically, that's a version of, a version of Talia. That's much more simple to play. And so, if you want to search for simple, there is possibilities. Uh, but she also fits a different role compared to him. So yeah, I guess... To sum up, this is the complete guide to understand how to play for absolute beginners to Leah. This is everything that you need to know to jump in your first normal game. And I really hope this video was useful for you to understand how what you're supposed to do. Go for drakes, go for towers, corner people with your root, do your full combo, try to understand what each of these abilities do, put some dummies, try to farm, try to think with builds a bit what you want to do, what you want to go for, and pick electrocute as the first 
a rune choice. This is it guys, see you next time, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time guys, goodbye.